Hello and welcome. I'm Carmen Cooper. I've been teaching yoga two nights a week at Cliff Nelson for the last 18 years. You can imagine how strange it is that I'm not teaching yoga at my regular evenings and times, but such is the case. It's not normal behavior for humans to shelter away from one another, but these are not normal times. We will get through this, we're still here. Maybe we can't have physical connection right now, but we can have social connection, emotional connection, mental connection, and spiritual connection. Since we're spending more time at home, this might be the perfect time to start your yoga practice. I love teaching yoga. It makes my heart sing when I open the door to yoga as a new practice to people and watch them start this amazing journey. I've been on the road of yoga for decades now and I can't even describe to you the difference that it has made in my life. A day without yoga is something I cannot imagine. A couple of things. I have my notes here. You may see me moving my clipboard around so that I can check where we are in our sequence. This is just water. I have a cat who likes to bother me when I'm doing yoga, especially for some reason when I'm shooting video. So if you see me, it's just to make him leave me alone. It's just water. It will not hurt him, but it will make him leave me alone. So this is easy pose, by the way. If we could just start off in easy pose and center ourselves and take a, an easy, comfortable breath in and out. Let's take a few of those. It helps focus your attention internally. I want you to pay attention to what's happening inside of you as we practice the yoga. And notice when we're finished, tune in and see if you feel any different than you did before we started. Just a few easy breaths. Then we're going to start reclining on our backs. We're going to do some easy leg exercises. This is the corpse pose. Flat on your back with your arms slightly away from your body, your palms up, and your feet 12 to 18 inches apart. Let your feet flop open. Let's flip our feet in and out a few times. Now let's point the toes and point the toes back towards the head. Point, flex point, flex. Now let's bend the right knee. Use the hands to pull it in towards the chest. You'll notice that this pulls your thigh into your lower abdomen on the right side. It gives you a deep abdominal massage underneath your thigh.
Release the hands, drop the foot to the floor. Gently swing the knee out to the side. This is a reclining tree. As you inhale, knee comes back to center. Use the hands to pull it towards your chest. Take your left hand to the outside of your right knee as you exhale, swing the knee across the body. This will pull you up onto your left side. You can extend your right arm straight out from the shoulder. You can look at the ceiling. Only if you want to, and you can do so comfortably, you can turn your head and look to the right. This is called reclining spinal twist. As you inhale, leg comes back to center. Use the hands to pull the knee towards the chest. Only if you want to, you can ease the leg back a little bit more. Only do these poses if they feel good. The general rule when you're beginning yoga, if it feels good, do it. If it does not, stop. And again, only if you want to, as you exhale, head goes towards the knee and you can hover that other leg off the floor a few inches. Lower your head, lower your extended leg, release your hands, and as you exhale, Slowly lower that right leg to the floor. And when your foot hits the ground, it's time to let go of everything that is bothering you today and let it sink into the floor. As you inhale, bring the other knee in. Use the hands to pull it towards the chest.
Release your hands. Drop your foot to the floor. Swing the left leg open. Reclining tree. As you inhale, knee comes back up. Use the hands to pull the leg towards the chest. Right hand goes to the outside of the left knee. Swing the leg across the body. That brings you up onto your right side. You can look at the ceiling. Or if you can do so comfortably, you can turn your head and look to the left. Reclining spinal twist. As you inhale, head and knee come back to center. Use the hands to pull the knee gently towards your chest. Only if you want to, pull the knee in a little bit more. And again, only if you want to, as you exhale, head goes towards the knee. And you can hover that other leg off the floor a few inches. This is for just a little extra core work. Lower your head, lower your extended leg. Release your hands, and as you exhale, slowly lower that bent leg to the floor. And when your foot hits the floor, exhale everything that's bothering you into the floor for just a half a minute vacation.
Now let's bring both legs up and go for a walk in space. Now drop the feet, bend your knees, hug both knees with your hands, and gently rock on your low back. This is called rock and roll. Now let's go from side to side. Now circles, just use your hands to move your knees in circles. Circles the other way. Let's move on to happy baby. Go back to when you were six months old. Flail your arms and legs. You're trying to get your back muscles strong enough for you to sit up and eventually stand and walk. Some happy babies hold their feet. You can lower one leg, half happy baby. Bring that one back in, extend the other one. One last time, both legs. Now let's drop both feet to the mat. Take the right ankle onto the left knee. This is a gentle little hip stretch. If this is enough for you today, stay here. If it's easy and not a challenge, raise the left foot. Take your right hand, go through that triangle there. You can hold the back of your left thigh. Again, if this is easy and not a challenge, you can drop the foot and hold on to the front of your shin. You can pull back on your shin gently and your right hip will let you know how far to go. Release both feet back to the floor. Now take your left ankle 
onto your right knee. If this is enough, stay here. If you're ready for more, raise the right foot. Your left hand goes through that triangle. Hold on to the back of your right thigh. If you prefer, you can drop your foot with this hold. Or if this is easy and not a challenge, you can move your hands to the front of your right shin and gently pull back. Your left hip will let you know how far to go. Drop both feet back to the mat. Let's come to sitting. Cross-legged again. This is easy and it's fun. It's called stir the pot. Just drop your hands to your knees and make a circle with your torso. You want to do a little ab work, you can pull those abs in. I like to pull my abs in as I go back. Now let's do the same thing the other way. From here, let's go to an easy little seated twist. Take your right hand to your left knee. You can use your left hand as a prop behind you if you like. Be mindful with this one. I have a tendency to twist too far and stay too long. So be very mindful as you inhale and get tall Stretch your spine up really tall before you twist. And as you exhale, twist your torso, turn your head. If you don't like the way it feels having your hand as a prop behind you, you can drape it across the back of your waist. Release, come back to the front. Take a couple of breaths to recenter yourself. Then inhale, get tall. Left hand to the right knee. Right hand goes behind you, either as a prop or draped across the back of your waist. Exhale. 
exhale and twist. Every time you inhale, lift up a little bit. We want lots of space in that back. And release back to center in the front take a couple of breaths let's do a seated side bend take your right hand down onto the floor inhale the left arm up next to your ear and as you exhale side bend you can look at the floor the opposite wall, or turn and look up at your arm. Feel the stretch all the way down the left side of your body. Inhale to come back up. Exhale the arm down. Inhale the other arm up. Right next to your ear. And as you exhale, side bend. Look at the floor, the opposite wall, or turn and look up at your arm. Feel the stretch all the way down your right side. Inhale to come back up. Exhale the arm down. Now we're going to table pose. Table is just on your hands and your knees. Check your hands, spread your fingers out. Make sure every finger, thumb, the roots of your hands are all doing their part. From table, we're going to transition into cat cow. As you exhale, drop your head and your tailbone. As you inhale, come up into cow, drop your belly head comes up and your buttock sticks out. Synchronize these movements with your breath and go at your own pace. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch that back. Head comes up. Do five or six of these at your own pace. From here, we want to go to down puppy. We're going to he keep our hips over our knees, but our arms are going to come down. Maybe your forehead will touch the floor. Extend your arms.
Back to table. Check your hands again. Make sure your weight is equally distributed. Now we're going to turn our toes under and push back into downward facing dog. If you're way up here like this, that's okay. With practice and persistence, your feet may eventually come down. To stretch out the hamstrings, bend one knee while you straighten the other. To come safely out, drop to your knees. From here, we're going to extend our legs. Stack one hand on top of the other, or one forearm on top of the other, depending upon how high you want your head to be. And just drop your forehead. This is called crocodile. It's a very relaxing, restorative pose. Some people prefer crocodile to the corpse pose if they can't be comfortable flat on their backs. Let's roll over now and I'll show you the corpse again. Corpse is what most people use for their final relaxation. Some people use it for meditation. Now let's come back to easy pose to conclude. Check in with your breath again. This time, put your hands on your rib cage. And as you inhale, feel your breath going all the way down to your belly. There we have our accessible beginner sequence. I hope you like yoga if you're starting out. If you're not starting out, this is still a good sequence to use to warm up, to do a more vigorous yoga practice. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Again, I'm Carmen Cooper. Namaste.